They haven't sanded the filler off before they painted it. That's really disappointing. Looks rough as... Right, I've just spoke to them and they're happy with that. That's what they want. They want it to look a bit old and knackered. Fitting in with the house, I guess. That beam's going to get painted black. What I've got to do is dig into this. I'm going to replace this threshold strip for an oak one. I'm going to put some trim around here with some weather seal on it. Just a thin batten that's got some aqua seal weather strip on it. And this is rotten. I hate these bits of jobs. I'm going to dig into it and see see what I need to do. Same on that side. Okay, well I've left that on just to shed the water rather than going straight in just for now. It's rotten, it's coming off. So what I'm going to have to do is cut these back, remove this panel, cut these back, put a new base in. And I wanted to put a hardwood still the right way through. But they just want me to replace same for same and put hardwood still on there, hardwood threshold on. Right, gutter went on there. Not happy with it downpipe, it's a bit awkward getting around that corner, so I did it like that and they're happy with it, so that's the way it's staying. Don't look too bad for me. Blind man would be happy to see that. So I'm going to ignore that now. Did have a choice of bringing the spout out down here. But then I'd have had an ugly pipe running along here somehow. It's decided to return the gutter. Could have gone that way and just shot it down the wall into the gravel there. But I wanted to and they wanted to run it into the drain. So ignoring that now. Right, I found the original panels under these bits of hardboard. A bit rotten in the bottom here, so I'm gonna remake them. Make some new ones to go in. Right, I'm going to make these door panels. I'm going to use that board, rip it down middle. Not bothered about warping or anything. These panels are fixed in place. Right, it's a nice clean board. I'm going to cut it down to rough sizes, rip it down, plane it flat and square, and then cut it to length. I've got two plain flat square edges. I'll run them through the thickness of here.
I put that pencil mark against the fence now. My drawing says that the panel needs to be 330 by 850. I've cut the long ones to 850, put two together, find 330 on my tape, put it there. So the top rail, bottom rail, wants to be 200mm. I've just done a test on a piece of wood. I need to get a, don't know, about an half inch groove in there. I ain't got room to get a double tenon on this, so I'm just going to put one. It's like I say, these panels are fixed well in place. I don't think it'll move. I'm going to get beaded in, screwed, beaded, everything. All right, before I start cutting dominoes, I've just laid them out. These panels are seen from both sides, so I don't need to pick the good face. But the marks that I made when I was planing it, I've left them up, just so that I don't get confused. But just for when I come to cut dominoes, I need to know which side. So I'll put a pencil mark around like that, and I use them to work off. This is 30mm timber, you want your tenons to be about a third, so I've got 10mm cutter in. It's about 30mm, like I say, so 15mm depth. And the 65, so I'm going to go 45, 50. And I'm going to run off this this first tab.
I'm just going to glue these together. Traditionally, you'd let the panel float to allow for shrinkage and expansion. But this is a piece of ply, it's not going to move. And I want these to be absolutely solid. So I'm only putting one domino in each end. So I'm gluing it all around. Right, I've sanded this panel off, cleaned all the glue out. And what I'm going to do is cut this fence just so that I've got a line to work to, and then cut one end of all my beads. I've got a mitre on one end because I'm right handed I find it easier to put the mitre on the left hand side little ones first so I've got a pencil mark there now there's my pencil mark and because I cut the fence I can put that exactly to that. So it fits in there now. Do this other end. You don't want them tight. So now I can do this one. Always do your short ones first because you can spring these ones in. So 
So you get one hand in, hold the middle. And if you need to just use a little block. One's a bit tight but it'll be okay. Just like I did on the frame. I'm gonna glue these. I can't get a pin in there. As you see they're a bit thin. Can't get a pin in sideways, not really. So I'm gonna pin them straight to the board. When I take them out, I just leave them where they are. Let me go in here. I've got 15 mil pins. These only just go through there, but they shouldn't go through the nine mil board. As I put this speed in, I'm going to sit it in, sit it in like that, so some of the glue will push in, rather than going that way, which means the glue pushes out. Not keen on this big gun. Not keen on this material, it's got a massive nose on it. I like my little bostage. Wipe up the excess. <laughs> 